Welcome in. This is going to be November's predictions. My puppy Ivy back there has been panting because we just came in, so I'm hoping that she'll be quiet, but you may hear her in the background. This is the only time I really have. So I thought I would come in here and give you um, November predictions, and also we'll kind of talk about the election a little bit too. So November, we're moving into Scorpio. We're already into Scorpio season as I'm recording this right now. I think today is like the 20... Um, 5th of October. So we're moving into Scorpio season. Those of you that don't know me, welcome. I'm medium psychic energy healer for people and pets, author of the book, Manifest Anything You Want in 30 Days. Um, have been doing this professionally for over 25 years and love to help you in any way. So make sure to check out my website, vicky-miller.com. Okay. So number one, when we go into November, um, when we go into Scorpio season, I love Scorpio season because my moon's in Scorpio, but Scorpio is all about revealing the truth. We're going in deep. Scorpios are very, very deep. So we're going to see so many truths come out. We've already been seeing a lot of truths with trafficking coming up. I'm trying to watch what I say here because my videos get down all the time. So I don't want them to get down. So um, get taken down. So We've already been having that. We're going to see more explosive with the truth coming up. A lot of the dark, deep, dark secrets are going to be coming up to a surface, both globally and in your own life. And also maybe even in your own life as far as denial. Okay, so the truth is going to prevail. Anytime the truth comes out, it's always a wonderful time as, you know, living the truth is the most ultimate freedom there is. So we are also living in a time that you can no longer hide anything. Okay, and karma is also, this is the year where finishing up 2023. So this is the year that karma is coming out. Also heart center and uh, gurus. Gurus are gone. So a part of that is, I'm sorry, there is a hair here that's driving me insane. Okay. Karma is a part of the guru area era, right? A lot of people were, um, you know, karmically in the manipulation or if you've been a narcissist, I think all of us know one of those. They are going to get it in their big time with karma. Okay, so I feel this is coming out November. So November, we're going to see this opening energetically. The veil, because that's what Scorpio season is about. It's going in deep. Truth coming out and going hitting us really deep emotionally too, because that is the energy around that. So we've already started the super moon um, on October. I told you that super moon is going to be a huge moon to flush out. You're going to continue to see this in November. This is a reset. We're moving into a reset, a um, reset of the whole entire world, the whole entire planet. And I go much deeper on this on my podcast. So make sure to check out my podcast because I can do, I drop at least two a week and I can be on there more freely without worried about taking down. So I tell you everything um, on there. So on Spotify, it's called Magical You, Big You, Vicki Miller. Okay, make sure to check out my podcast there. I go in really deep with a lot of taboo subjects that I'm allowed to do on there, not necessarily on here. So we're going to see the, the prevailing of a lot of truth coming out. We're also going to see a lot of um, shadow side. So this is the time when our shadow side shadow side within ourselves, the shadow side of um, really looking at the fears, really looking at our things that we've been blocking ourselves and bringing them to light. So it's a good thing because we'll be like, okay, what is really going on emotionally and physically with ourselves? And they're going to come to light. So that brings me to the next thing of emotional. We're going to have a lot of shocking truths that come out this month on, you know, the celebrities and, and people that we put up there, the big people here, we put up here for a long time. The truth is going to come out. You're going to see more trafficking. You're going to see more um, those people that come truthfully. It's been happening for many years and now, thank God, it's coming to the light. Now, when it comes to the light, a lot of people, because there's going to be a lot of people that you're like, no way is this person involved in this. Yes way it is, but it's hard. It's shocking. It's devastating. And it's, you know, it's sad because you're like, I put so much in this and I thought this way and, and to realize I've been lied to. You're also going to see a lot of truths in a lot of different areas of our life globally where we've been lied to, where the government I hope that doesn't just right now trigger some stuff here where bigger people can try to control us are trying to keep us small or keep us contained. So we're going to see this rebelness to come in at the same time. 
any we're, we're moving for more into freedom especially 2025 it's going to be liberation and freedom as we move into aquarius times we're fading out of the pisces times so pisces times is very um small systems we're going to continue to see the systems being broken down this gets me to the election as we know election time is always kind of crazy here and it's always been crazy um i can only say so much on here so i would definitely tell you to go to my podcast magical you i just posted a podcast what will happen in 2024 election go listen to that because i can only state so many things here I will tell you that we are going to see, you know, I've been saying since 2020, no election, still don't see an election. Or I should say where I go more in depth on this is I don't see somebody coming out and saying, this is the person that is going to rule or be a part of, or be, you know, ahead of United States. I see it as we are going to continue on um, having a person there, I'm trying to say this so I won't get triggered, a person in office that um, gets there through maybe somebody leaving the office, <laughs> read in between the lines here, because they decide to go to a different planet, and then that person continues to stay in that office, and then the other person has no, no chance because there's gonna be so much misleading things around, you know, it's already been a, a, a cluster. And then, but this is where I've been saying, I see the system being knocked down. So the system's going to be knocked down, meaning they're not going to be able to sustain or get in control of what used to be. And this is where the new rise, the new rebirth is coming into the United States, which is exciting. So this is where I see different governors having different say on their states, different states pulling out and being coming their own, their own rules, their own laws, their own thing. So we're going to see a different way, a reset a restart, a new system, not even a system. I don't even like calling it a system because all systems are going away. So this also means, and you can go more in depth on that. I'm only going to speak so much on this, um, on Magical You, because I really want this to stay up, okay? The other thing I see is money. We're getting ready for Taurus to hit a full moon, and um, I am a Taurus, so I know everything about Taurus is here. Taurus is physical. It's here on Earth. So this is also going to be the month that we're going to hear change about our money. I see the whole banking system, big banking system changing. Um, I was just talking to my friend the other day that is in Canada and she was telling me some crazy stuff there where they just one day went Doop! down on your system and you can't get into your system anymore. And I'm like, what? Yeah. And this might happen here too on big, big banking system. We'll see how long this stays up. Big banking system. Okay. So it's going to be a lot of change. We've already been shifting out of the, the cash system and going into the, you know, digital system. I see it continuing to kind of shift into that way, even more so. Um, there's good and bad on that. I'll do a lot more on my podcast because I can only, you know, anytime I speak truth, they just take me down. So I don't want to be taken down. So anyways, going to talk about that. And we're going to see change in physical evidence too, down on the earth with this Taurus and full moon too, especially during Scorpio. Scorpio is a water sign. We have Taurus, water and earth. Um, I have a Scorpio moon. I have a Taurus earth. So this is definitely going to be affecting us on a huge way of rebirth. So this is also a rebirth of earth. I see a rebirth of earth. I see um, a lot of, it's, it's interesting because when I tap into the energy of weather, just like I predicted, the hurricane to hit Sarasota, hit, hit there. It's so easy for me to come into the energy of weather because it's energy. Um, I feel a lot of fires and flooding on the West Coast. So that could make sense because I was down there during the Thomas fire in the mudslide because after fires happens mudslides because when it rains, then all happens. So heads up out West, especially around the ring of the ring of fire, which is all the way out West over to um, Hawaii and over to Japan, all of that's going to ignite. So I feel explosive, but then I see calm, peace, flooding. So to me, that means there could be a lot of fires, <clears throat> excuse me, that goes into flooding afterwards and mud and yuck and stuff like that too. So we're going to start seeing a different earth as we come to. Okay. So this is my other thing. Where is the moon? I want you guys to go outside at night because back when I grew up, we had a moon that came out at 8 p.m. at night and then it would go away around 8, 10 o'clock in the morning. That was just the normal earth cycle. And 
it's not doing that now. I was just last night, 10.30 at night, beautiful sky, no clouds, couldn't find the moon, couldn't find the moon. It's coming out now later and later and later. So this keeps me, you know, me being a medium psychic, I can read into anything and this is really, I'm like weird. <laughs> Okay, and I, I, so I read into it. I was like, what is going on? So the universe is shifting and changing into this 5G and go look at CERN, C-E-R-N. Been telling you guys for years, CERN is definitely changing the vibration and frequency. I feel this could be a part of the whole new universe and the whole new outer lay of the universe too because I do feel we're going to, I, I kind of, this is the image I see. The earth, universe energy, and the earth just like, it tilts, it just shifts into like this whole new vibration and energy around it. So that means the stars, that means the planets, that means even astrology. I'm wondering how astrology is going to be. The moon, the sun, we're going to see a different moon and sun. I mean, we've already been seeing this. A lot of people have been saying things and yeah, we're going to definitely see that. And I feel November is going to be the month of that shadow period coming out where the light comes in and the truth comes in and people start looking up and being like, what is going on? Okay. Because I think a lot of times people forget, we get used to the circumstances. We get used to, oh yeah, the moon's out at 12 o'clock at two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it's out. <laughs> no, it's supposed to be out at night. Remember that? But we forget just like the big puffy clouds. Do you guys remember when we were raised with blue skies and big puffy clouds? If I told you to draw a cloud, what would you draw? You would not draw crisscross lines and just a whole big bunch of block of a cloud. That's just not a cloud, but we forget. So it's time over time where we start kind of being um, shown this and then we can start to see that. We start to think it's normal. It's not normal. I'm going to say it's not normal of the old days. So that's what I'm going to say is we're going to see new normal is not going to be normal. We're also going to see, I also see in November, um, the breakdown of society, which really, you know, saddens me as far as people, we could feel a more intense time energetically. Also war wise too with Israel, I see more heated debates going on there too. Uh, that could get a little worse before it gets better. I don't even know if I want to say it gets better, but I do feel that could get a little worse. Um, I also see, I, I see the rising of consciousness, which is amazing and manifesting, which is amazing. So literally we can time jump and align our frequency to what we want to experience. So my, my best advice to you is don't focus on the past. Don't invite the past in. And it's all we know is the past. So we keep on revisiting those emotions, revisiting that. We keep on getting that in the future. And manifesting is going to happen so fast in our life that we can either choose that or we can choose a new experience. And we can seriously like time jump. I just see like this, this time machine where we just go in and we're like, oh, let's experience this now. And seriously, it will like end in our lap. So the veil between heaven and earth is totally thin. So things can just come right to you. Synchronicity is going to show up. Wonderful things will happen if you align to your wonderfulness, if you align to those positive feelings. And it is going to be very emotional. So this is where it's going to be a time you have to take care of yourself. You have to do self-love. You have to do, do you know me being an energy healer? My pet peeve. Okay. Just going to say it. And you all know me. If you, if you've been in any of my goddess retreats, my readings or anything, I say how it is because I've been there, done that. And I've had five kids and I've had a bit, I've had many businesses and I've, I don't even know how I did the things I did. And I've had cancer and I've had all kinds of stuff where I learned in order to get change, I had to change and I had to give to myself, but I had to take the action. How many times I get people that want the change, want the, want the better health, want the better, you know, life, want more money, but they won't change their energy and they won't put the energy into change, which means yourself. You have to put the energy into yourself. And the cool thing is right now, you make a commitment to yourself, you're going to see change like this. The old days weren't like that. Now it is. So that means invest in yourself, number one. And knowing that the more self-love you give yourself, that's going to ripple out to the whole entire universe and energy is going to become so much more contagious. And starting this month for the reset of next year, it's just going to go right out. So when you're happier, when you feel better, when you're giving yourself that love, it's only going to ripple out to everyone else and make the whole entire planet. And let's talk about this. We're in this teeter-tottering time right now, our conscious mind. Everybody is really opening up to crown chakra. So you're going to be channeling. You're going to be getting information. 
it's really important to quiet and quit doing, doing, doing and become being. This is a time starting right now is the time to get into nesting, being at home more, going within more, being still more, listening more, not action, action, action. We are no longer in the action days. We're in the day where we need to rejuvenate, where we need to be, where we need to be present with our body. We need to go inward, listening to our own intuition. Our intuition is 100% accurate and you're really going to listen and hear it if you be this month. You're going to hear it, but you cannot hear it when you're sitting there believing all the other people, when you're sitting there looking outward, when you're sitting, when you're going, 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 and then you wonder why you're exhausted and you wonder why things aren't happening. It's because you haven't had time to listen. So I can't stress this enough. This is the time to go inward. It's the time to do um, rejuvenation. It's the time, just like a bear, we get, they start hibernating, right? They start slowing down. Start eating warmer food. Our digestive system also goes with this. Start eating the soups, the stews, the warmth, right? The, the vegetables, the rooted vegetables. Get grounded as much as you can. Get into the earth, especially as we move forward into Taurus full moon, because that does earth. So is what's going to happen with this full moon, especially um, this one, I see a releasing, a deep, deep, deep releasing of all systems, that means government, that means school system. This means our systems even within ourselves that are self-sabotaging, keeping us back. We're going to release this. This also means further on relationships, although I think most of you probably released those relationships back last month during uh, Libra season because that's what it is. But if you still haven't, you're gonna see more releasing of relationships. This could be loved ones, this could be friendships, this could be um, you know just people around you that you've outgrown. So we're gonna to continue to see that happen. And so you've outgrown those. You're going to continue to, to grow into your conscious mind, into awakening, which I'm gonna tell you, if you guys have never gone through awakening, awakening sometimes sucks, okay? Physically, you're gonna feel really tired. You're gonna be, could even be angry. You could be like, what is going on with me emotionally? And then you see the truth. You see the truth that you've been blinded to at all times because now you're tapping into your intuition, which is always 100% accurate. And you could get pissed because you're like, I've been lied to this whole time. So an awakening is coming aware to what is the truth, to questioning things, not just being told things and believing them and diving into that system. It's like always question things. I am a medium psychic, biggest skeptic ever. I think it's hysterical because I'm like, mm, I need more questioning on this. I'm always questioning. Even when I get my things, even when I get my readings intuitively, I'm sitting there questioning like, what is this? Why is this? Why are they doing this? Like, I am always questioning as it gets deeper and deeper. And so we're going to be going into this deep awakening of our heart and soul of our truth. So this is amazing time to like really honor yourself, to go within and allow yourself to unwind those old beliefs, those old things that are keeping you back, okay? So it's really unwinding to your truth and we're gonna get it like this, this month. Like things are just gonna be coming at you like this. So it's gonna be really important to be grounded, to feel physically well, so do the physical things, to do the commitment to yourself. That's one of my pet peeves because I do goddess retreats, I do workshops, I do all kinds of things to help you. Whether it's me, it's another person, I don't care. Make a commitment to healing and then you can move forward to that healing. It's that simple. If you want to continue going around in that circle, you will have a really hard time, especially next year as we move and shift to this new world. A lot of people will be leaving the planet because they can't shift to that frequency. So you got to shift to the frequency. The other thing you're going to see this month is physical body, especially as we move more into the darkness. We're going to do more darkness night of the soul. You know, a lot of places are starting, the sun is starting to go lower. It's starting to be darker. I live in Florida where I'm fortunate where it's still bright. But when you go into the darkness, your thyroid starts slowing down. Your um, energy starts slowing down. So this could be a time of really your happiness starting to slow down. So it's really important to do those nurturing things that are going to make you feel better. Get, dive into your creativity. That is going to help you and heal you in so many ways. This is why I do my goddess painting parties, paint, crochet, dance, do whatever creative wise because that inner child healing is really going to go deep. The other thing we're going to see this month leave our life is inner child trauma, 
emotions of trauma. We get so comfortable with trauma that we don't know anything else. Been there, done that. I was in an abusive relationship with a narcissist for 14 years that mentally screwed me up. Okay, so I've been there. I cried every day of my life while I was with this person. I look back and I'm like, why was I in this? And I'm sure some of you have been there too. And I'm sure I'm speaking to you. You don't know any different until you get out of it. You don't know any different than you look back and you're like, oh my God, like what was I thinking? Well, you weren't thinking because you were in it. And once you get out of it, that is when the healing comes in. And that's what's so used to you. So if you've been in trauma, especially since a little child, you just hold that on and that's all you know. And so you start attracting that. And so when you let go of that trauma, that which is like this life jacket, it's like, whoa, that doesn't feel good. I need to put this life jacket back on. I need to like hold into this trauma. I need to hold on to this emotional sadness because this is all I know. Back to when I got out of that toxic relationship, if a nice person would have came into my life and just was super nice to me, I wouldn't have known what to do with that because I wasn't used to that. So I learned a lot and I let go of this a long time ago and I've worked with my, a lot of my clients with this too, but I've been there with you. I've done it, I know it, and it sucks. Well, now the cool thing is, is we are going to be healing and growing from our trauma starting in November. We are going to be throwing away that life jacket of trauma, of sadness and be like, I am done. I'm stepping into my power and I'm no longer gonna do this. Back to women. Women are stepping into their power and they're no longer gonna do this. Now, I'm not gonna say all men by any means. Men go through trauma. Men go through a lot of shit too. But we're gonna see the women rising up out of the roles that we used to be in and we're gonna start having these aha moments of like, yeah, I'm not gonna participate in that anymore. I uh, know I'm worthy, a lot of worthiness. So we're gonna see the rest of this year that flushing out the trauma, the karma, the uh, negative experiences, the codependency, those are no longer gonna be. Now brings me into the future of relationships. I just did a podcast on this too. I would definitely tell you to do this. The relationships moving forward, and we're going to see this month too because we're getting out of the old, outdated ones, we're going to see are going to be different. They're not going to be back in the day where you have a relationship and you get married and have kids and you do it because of religion or parents or whatever system. That's a system. Those days are gone forever. My daughter right now is dating at 18. And I'm just cracking up because she's sending me these pictures and I'm like, oh my God, I don't even know how you can date right now. Like, Oh my God, so funny. So we're going to see this new relationships that are going to be, can you get married? Still, absolutely. Will it be forever? Probably not. We're going to see, because now we're in this energy of outgrowing. And so it's really being present We're where you're at right now and what works for you as far as relationships. And this is why we're seeing a lot of same sex relationships, open relationships, all kinds of relationships that were never ever in the past or they weren't openly in the past. Now they're gonna be open, but we're gonna see this new different type of relationships. And the cool thing I see in November is you're gonna meet your partner on your level. There's no more in the past where really I'm, I'm one of these people pleasing let me heal you like let me pull me let me pull the most horrible person to me that I can come in here and heal you okay and how many women are like this there's some men like this too uh, yeah we, we were like oh we can heal you because I'm a healer and yeah those days are gone thank God the new days are I am complete myself and only if I want you and you're no longer are you going to complete me so we're not going to see these relationships coming together to like complete each other it's like, oh, I like to be with you because you make me feel good and you add to my life. It's this. It's not like, oh, I'm going to fix you. I'm going to, you know, try to attract that person to, um, you know, fix them. Those days are gone. Thank God, right? So we're going to see this in November. We're going to see, um, also, I see a lot of soul partnerships coming together. So if you have been wanting a soulmate, which I also, just let me tell you, the word soulmate I hate because... We have many soulmates. They can be our friends, they can be our lovers, they can be our children. And if you want a soulmate as your partnership, they're the biggest ones to learn a lot of lessons from and they're a pain in the ass. They're gonna be one of your maybe most difficult relationships. So I just always ask for my equal. Your equal will be showing up for you, okay? And I see them, um, I just see the relationships changing, maybe even not defining a word around the relationship, like boyfriend, girlfriend, lover, partner, whatever. I just feel it's just going to be. And I just see all the relationships changing. You know, um, it's gonna be different, but I do feel soulmate, soulmates. I'm just gonna say, how about this? 
equal mates. I like that. Equal mates are going to be coming in this month, especially right before the holidays, um, shifting into New Year. I also see a lot of mind consciousness. You're going to start wanting to know different things. So you may have outgrown a certain thought process or a certain belief or a certain religion. And now it's really going to, you're going to want to um, crave different things coming up here. Anything else I want to cover here? I covered health. Health and wellness for sure, starting the warmth slowing down yoga tai chi things like that are really going to help um, integrate the inwards or inwardness too and this is a beautiful time to expand your consciousness and your intuition every single person is intuitive it's going to come so simple now it is a must to expand i will be doing classes on this online so make sure to check out my website vicky-miller.com my guides are like get out there and start teaching I, i've had magical you for many years where i've taught people to do readings and healings and mediumship and mediumship let me talk about mediumship oh my god my mediumship won't stop Every single person is going to really open up and start seeing things, feeling things, knowing things. They'll be like, where did that come from? And the other cool thing is we're going to see different things in the sky. It's already started. I said this in that last, last month, but this month, look to the sky, take the pictures of the moon. I told you like the moon's going to be, I just see the moon in and out. Like, where does it go? I don't know. I think it's weird. I'm going to tap more into this, but I see also like spaceships i see different colors i see comets a lot of comets a lot of falling objects out of the sky my only other concern i am going to tell you is uh electricity i've been saying this i feel the electric grid just kind of and we are getting ready to move to mercury retrograde we'll be in that at the end of this year for a while so uh this is going to really pull on the electrical grid and i see even new electricity coming in and this is also where i feel planes I don't know. I'm seeing things fall out of the sky. There could be a little bit more plane accidents. Um, I travel a lot, so I'm I, and I'm seeing people travel less actually during this time too. It's a it's a nesting time coming back and coming within. Okay, all right. So let's pull. I wanted to pull an animal totem, and then I just love showing you guys. <laughs> and I go to pull an animal totem. Actually, I'm not. Let me see here. First, I'm doing these. I did not know I had these and they wanted me. Oh my God, this is awesome. I just love showing you guys because um, this is always, yeah, we're going to be opening up to beauty. Then you can see the cards. So Gaia, connect to the earth. And I can't, I can't stress this enough. Back to the earth. We're moving to Taurus. This makes so much sense. And think of this new root system. What roots are you putting in there? What roots do you want? You know, really pull that into earth here and open up to receive. It's a receiving month the more you are grounded. Rebirth and rejuvenation, just like I said, reset. We're coming into this new nation, this new being. Uh, this is also clearing. Make sure you drink tons of water. Back to systems, right? New systems, new way of living, meditation, being near water, meditating, quiet your mind. Whatever you put in your mind, it's going to magnify and manifest so much faster this month. That could be scary for a lot of you. If you're putting stress, worry, concern, hate, anger, here it comes. If you're putting peace, love, healing, here it comes. It's up to you. Make the commitment to yourself, okay? This, water magic, yeah. New beginnings, new book of life, new things coming in. This is also going to be, um, I'm hearing the fountain of youth. We're going to start feeling lighter. So when the truth comes out, we always feel lighter, you know? So it's start, truth is always the best. Holding a secret will kill you. Think of that. Holding that secret down, deep down in and deep, deep into your life will kill you. So you're really going to feel it. And this is the uncertainty that I was telling you as we move forward into the new reset of the new world. It's not, it, it's going to be different, guys. It's going to be different. Um, I thought I had my animal totems, but oh, I do. I just, people always ask me for an animal totem. So I always just try. Oh, maybe I don't. I'm not feeling that one. I'm not feeling this one. I'm feeling this one. Okay. Push to the surface. We got, you may have become complacent. You might be stalling or in the need of a new surge of energy. Become aware of the dynamics of your life. Pushing to the surface to the rebirth of the new you, of the new higher version of yourself, to the new love of life, to the new reset. You know, change is coming. It already has been happening. It's going to happen so fast. Okay. I can't stress that enough. I even see us like, like, like we're little babies. If you want to go into our innocence, we're like, 
little babies coming to the surface and and this is a great a great um, vision i'm seeing from my guides is in november planting this in too especially as we go into the full moon you just landed on earth okay and you get to pick or be anything you want to be and you get to pick any experience you want to be and you get to like manifest from that form you have no beliefs you have all you know is you came to earth and earth is this like wowness it's like oh my god it's so cool it's my playground it's beautiful i gotta be and do anything i want to do mm, think of that right what do you want to experience because we are being this gift right now no matter all the circus show going on around there it's just fluff the election the drama all this stuff if you can rise but bigger that's not going to affect you unless you allow it to affect you so be thinking and planting what do you want to manifest i hope you guys have an amazing november would love to connect with you in any way visit my website vicky-miller.com have a magical day